Welcome back. We have another one for you. This is Josh from <laughs> Saber Tooth Sifters. Yes. <laughs> the world's greatest sifters. If you haven't heard about it, revolutionary. We're going to spend the day just basically jumping in spots that we've never jumped in before and hoping there's a small patch of gravel and hoping there's some good material. What's your goal out here? My goal today is to find a big megalodon. I have not found one over two inches yet. Um but I'll definitely have appreciation for anything else as well, that's for sure. <laughs> some bone. I think we might have our first spot, so Josh, you ready? I'm ready. Right, let's do this thing. All right. You know, once you get underwater, you never really know how you're going to react, especially it being your first time. Just kind of came across, you know, feelings of, uh, you know, claustrophobia, fear of gators, especially during mating season, um, and just totally brand new experience. So I'm, I'm glad I, I was able to get in there. It was a really, really cool experience, um, but definitely need some more practice i'm i'm hoping to go and <laughs> probably practice at some uh some clearer water and get back out here for sure let's go And that's a cropulite. This is fossilized doo-doo. And this is one of the more fascinating things to a lot of paleontologists because you can actually go into this, they slice it open, and they actually evaluate the contents to figure out what this animal ate. Now, what did this come from? I don't know. Am I bothered touching it? It's a rock. It's a great gag to play on somebody. You can put this about anywhere and everybody knows what that is just by looking at it. We found this as well. This we know is a toe bone, and based off the size, we believe this is bison. It's in perfect condition. We'll go ahead and get that ID confirmed. But this looks to be a nice bison toe bone specimen. some verts, some vertebrae, um, a lot of them in, in a small area. That may be gator. It's got the dip here, the bump here. I, I don't know if that's mammoth or what that is. I don't try to ID verts very much, but pretty little heart shape there. And this one still has the process attached. That's that's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, Brace man. yourself. Come on, man. <laughs> Time to record here. Damn it, Manny! Man. <laughs> Another here. Nice preservation on this. It's a shame it's broken right here.
How's it looking, man? Looking good or no? So much bone, dude. Yeah? <laughs> Big bone. <sighs> and it's getting more and more plentiful and seemingly bigger. Okay. So if it's half buried, I think it's probably stuff probably connects. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we have here. There's something big that was living down there. It's gonna have trouble storing all this stuff on me. Right. So Mike's not aware of it, but he's got a big old manatee swimming right here next to him. He has zero clue. <laughs> so the manatee is right here. What's up, buddy? Come here, Bubba. <laughs> he's not too big a one, he's a little guy. He's just checking out what we're doing. Hello. You know, attacked by vicious animals. Put a big cat in my head. Deadly encounter. And then it's just that. Hello. Look at you. So I'm actually right there now. Turn a little bit down. We're doing a giveaway. Whoever guesses what the next fossil Mike brings up gets to have his whole boat and all the fossils that are in it. This one's just for you, Mike. Whenever you go to edit this, I hope you appreciate this video. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Mike just came up, started screaming, so there must be something good. Forget the camera for a second. All right. Amazing how fast the day turns into a great day. <laughs> <laughs> so leading up to finding that mammoth tooth, I used context clues. Just pieces of what I knew to be mammoth were laying around. And here is a good example of that. This had me pretty excited because it looks kind of like one of their foot bones, but then as you rotate it, you come to this honeycomb look, and that is the most definitely part of their skull. So you're very close to the mouth there and I I was hopeful and sure enough I later found the piece of jaw and then boom there was the mammoth tooth just laying right by it I was actually kind of disappointed when I saw the jaw because I thought there was a jaw with no tooth but the, the tooth was almost probably all under my right arm when I found that jaw it's amazing how close you could be to something and actually not find it so you just got to keep looking we haven't found a whole meg yet but <laughs> another mammoth tooth an incredible mammoth tooth actually I didn't even have to hardly clean this one it's already looking good um, this is a lower it would sit like this in your jaw pretend my arm is your jaw and this is your chewing surface right here and then this would really start coming under the, the jaw bone to be all around here but uh, oh my god <laughs> it's, it's amazing this is a very nice specimen Let's get out of here. You guys, check out Sabertooth Sifters when you get a moment. 
Um, if you're into fossil hunting and actually actively in the rivers, that's the kind of sifter that I would suggest. And that's what I have now. I got one of those for myself. So sometimes you can <laughs> you have a little trouble breathing. You don't know why. Well, we found out why. <laughs> Went under that palm tree over there and pulled some of the moss off of it and just completely sealed my air supply. That didn't, didn't feel good. Did you see me pop up? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, did it really go under? I'm not even deep here. That's better. That's why you have a cap. Could you imagine like some fire ants getting inside that hole? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay.